The Matrix may be a movie that is Mandela affected. Some affected individuals remember the popular introduction scene between Morpheus and Neo differently than it is today. In this memorable scene, the affected remember Morpheus attempting to explain the Matrix to Neo with the famous, What if I told you everything you knew was a lie speech? But apparently this line has changed. The popular, What if I told you, is no longer in the movie. Perhaps, there is a lesson for the affected in this change. Perhaps we are being asked to remember how difficult it was for Neo to be told about something that is almost impossible to believe. Do you remember what it was like for us? We need wisdom regarding how, and when we will present this message, and we need to be patient with people. There is a similar awkward situation within the Gospel of Thomas when Jesus first reveals the truth to Thomas. Jesus tells Thomas a secret, that even Thomas knows the other disciples would not be ready or able to receive. The conversation starts like this. Jesus says to his disciples, Compare me to someone and tell me whom I am like. Simon Peter said to him, You are like a righteous angel. Matthew said to him, You are like a wise philosopher. Thomas said to him, Master, my mouth is wholly incapable of saying whom you are like. Jesus said, I am not your master. Because you have drunk. You have become intoxicated from the bubbling spring, which I have measured out. And he took him, and withdrew, and told him three things. When Thomas returned to his companions, they asked him, What did Jesus say to you? Thomas said to them, If I tell you one of the things, which he told me, you will pick up stones, and throw them at me, a fire will come out of the stones, and burn you up. Thomas 13. For the sake of those who hear us, we need wisdom on how and when we will present truth. For some cannot receive it, and if they should turn against the messenger, even though it is a difficult message, just like Thomas warned, they may suffer the consequences for their error. Aware of the urgency of the message, but still having compassion, let us be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. Within this gospel, authored by Jesus, Originally Thomas is one of the only disciples who truly understands what Jesus is saying. In a similar way, perhaps even today, most do not truly understand what Jesus is saying to humanity through the Mandela effects. Eventually, this will change, but every man comes in his own order. For those who do understand, and are amazed, even today, like Thomas, we still have an inner cry, my mouth is wholly incapable. For today many are yet unable to understand. Still Jesus gives the promise to those who continue to seek, saying, Whoever finds the interpretation of these sayings will not experience death, Thomas 1. The Mandela effects within the Matrix movie seem to be pointing the affected to the Gospel of Thomas in several ways. First and most obviously, Neo's given birth name was Thomas A. Anderson. And secondly, there is, in this movie, a message of awakening and enlightenment that is in many ways reminiscent of the message of the Gospel of Thomas. We are like lights shining in a world of darkness, but when the light of the world arrives, and the bright light from within the bridal chamber illumines us, then we will know, and become known, even as we are known. See Philippians 2:15, John 8:12, 1 Corinthians 13:12, Thomas 3 and 75. And thirdly, there is a hidden clue within Neo's name. Again, Neo's given birth name was Thomas A. Anderson. Anderson is a surname deriving from a patronymic meaning son of Anders or Andrew which is itself derived from the Greek name Andreas, meaning man. In this way Anderson means the son of man. Thomas means, the twin. And so, Thomas A. Anderson means, the twin of the son of man. This is the message of the Gospel of Thomas. We will become like him, and we might ask ourselves, who is he like? When we see him, as he is, we shall be changed to be like him. 1 John 3 verse 2 Jesus said, Compare me to someone, and tell me whom I am like. The Mandela effect is the unveiling of Jesus Christ. Are we starting to see? The message of the Gospel of Thomas leads us through a discovery of who we are, and who we are meant to be. Jesus said, Recognize what is in your sight, and that which is hidden from you will become plain to you. For there is nothing hidden which will not become manifest. 
Thomas 5. The natural and human name Thomas A. Anderson, leads us to the hidden meaning. Become the twin of the Son of Man. This is the primary message within the Gospel of Thomas, you will become the sons of man, Thomas 106. This a promise for the end time elect. There is a company of saints who are coming, a new man, a neo man. Ephesians 2 15. And you will become like the living Jesus. Becoming the sons of man brings specific benefits, and this is one of the primary goals espoused within this gospel. This is achieved when we make the two into one. Jesus says, when you make the two into one, then you will become the sons of man, and if two make peace with each other in this one house, they will say to the mountain, move away, and it will move away. Thomas 58 and 106. The Matrix is a reoccurring Mandela effect that has fascinated many within the community. It is within the Gospel of Thomas that Jesus introduces the teachings of the bridal chamber where two become one. And this is a message for the mature. But diligent students, if they will seek this out, will experience a spiritual authority like they have never known when they join themselves into the living Jesus making two into one. When such peace is accomplished, then you will rule over the all and will have whatever you declare. Jesus said, Let him who seeks continue seeking until he finds. When he finds, he will become troubled. When he becomes troubled, he will be astonished, and he will rule over the all. This is the promise that is held out to those from amongst the affected, who are hearing this message. Thomas A. Anderson may also have a message for those who still feel trapped within the matrix. You must, and you will, be born again. For those who are now seeing the light, and for those who will carry this message, know that there is nothing hidden that will not be made manifest. Let's keep seeking.